one is very confusing for me. John Jones, Stipe, Dana White, us, International Fight Week, July. I mean, start throwing all these buzzwords together. It seems like we've got all the dots. Let's let's connect them. I'm lost. John Jones came out. I even remember where I was. I was at the NCAA tournament in Oklahoma. That was in March. So that was about March 18th. How do you like that for specifics? And John Jones comes out on March 18th, and he says, Hey, Stipe, only you, me, and the UFC know the real truth. Only you, me, and the UFC know that you ducked me all through 2022, and then John even gave the dates. And they were dates that us as fans had heard rumors of. I mean, Stipe and John Jones headlining the December 10th card was the worst-kept secret in MMA, and John finally laid this out. So Stipe comes on the back of it, and I mean like an hour later, like an hour after John had told the world that you can't trust this guy, which is blasphemy. Th those are the worst and dirtiest and most provocative words ever used against Stipe. Stipe is like off limits, right? He's a first responder. He's a true hero. He's off limits. John Jones just called his integrity into question. It's a big deal. Stipe quickly responded. And not only did he respond you hear the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. Stipe responds with a picture. And it was UFC Mark artwork showing a face-off, a fight poster, an announcement of those two with a date of July, which perfectly lines up with International Fight Week. Great. Great. I guess it's done, right? We don't hear anything else from anybody else. We don't hear anything that contradicts or pushes back on the artwork that Stipe has put forward. Well, until yesterday, Dana White had gone and done Pat McAfee's show. And Dana and Pat McAfee, this is a great combination, by the way. I, I hope that Dana continues to break news in this medium because he and Pat work really well together. That's a side note. But what Dana said is, look, John Jones has gone silent. We haven't heard from him. He won his championship. He's gone. Dana said he's back in New Mexico. He's shooting guns. He's playing with German Shepherds. This is what he said. And Dana said that John had told him, let me know when this Miocic fight is done. So, and, and I probably confused you there how I told the story, but I'm confused. I'm telling you the story exactly the way it's being told. And I admit that it's confusing. It's confusing in that John said, tell me when the Miocic fight is done, but John has gone radio silent. So it must be John has gone silent. But before going silent, he sent a text that said, let me know when the Miocic fight is done. Th that, I believe, is how we're supposed to understand this chain of events. Either way, when I tell you that I'm confused, you've got the promoter who, on Pat McAfee, made it very clear that he was very interested that this is the fight that he wants. He wants Stipe versus Jones. You have Stipe saying it's already done. You have John saying that's the one that I want to do. Why how are we now saying we don't have a fight? That's the part where I'm lost. We've got the promoter saying yes, and we have both athletes saying yes. They all have to be in the same room when they say it? I fought 51 men. That never happened to me. They all have to be on a conference call and say it at the same They all got to push their, their green button at the same time? I fought 51 men. It was what, never done that way. Stipe says he's fighting him in July. Jones says, I want to fight Stipe in July. Dana says, I want them to fight in July. We have a fight. That is how you make a fight. What am I, what, what am I missing here? What, what are these three guys talking about? We don't have a fight. We don't have a deal. I'm Duck and I'm dodging. Behind the scenes, are they not saying this? Behind the scenes, is John not actually wanting to fight in July? Behind the scenes, is Stipe not actually wanting to fight in July? Is that what we're being told here? Because that was most certainly never said. What was said is, I can't get this done, but you're the guy that's getting it done. You said that you want it. Both of these guys said that they want it. It sounds like it's done. I fought Shogun in a main event. I fought Loeta Machida at Madison Square Garden. To this day, I have never accepted a fight with either one of those guys because I have never been offered a fight. I was never offered a fight with Shogun. I was never offered a fight with Machida. Ariel Hawani broke one of those stories, and UFC Tonight broke the other one. I read it and it showed up. So what, what part of this business has changed? If we got the company, we got the date, we got the venue... We are the fans, we're at the table, and you got both athletes that have said yes multiple times. Explain to me how, with the pieces that I just gave you, how can we also say we don't have a fight? 